The success in any kind of nasal surgery is essentially to obtain or maintain or regain a good functionality together with a personalized eumorphy. A good functionality of the nose especially relies on three factors. Septum in axis, eumorphic inferior turbinates, and efficient and pervious nasal valve. It is mandatory to avoid operating on inferior hypertrophic turbinates without treating the principal cause, the septum deviation. For this reason, we always have to do a paranasal sinus CAT. Remember, treating hypertrophic inferior turbinal bone, as Dr. House wrote in a laryngoscope paper in 1951. In septoplasty surgery, it is essential to maintain the septum in axis. This is also crucial to avoid inferior turbinates hypertrophy relapses, even if well treated with the MIT, modified inferior turbinoplasty. To prevent cartilage nasal septum memory, we stabilize the septum on the midline using the 3GK stitch that we are going to describe and Jack Sheen spreader grafts when necessary, associated with vertical batten grafts. An accurate grafts suture permits a safe stabilization with no secondary memory recurrency. One of the fundamental requirements is a correct, tough and steady midline anchoring of the cartilaginous caudal septum to the anterior nasal spine, ANS. If the ANS has been resected, then the surgeon will proceed making two anchoring V holes with a drill. For the best fulfillment of this principle, Professor Gottarelli has conceived the new 3GK stitch, firstly published in his book modified inferior turbinoplasty, which makes possible an easy and safe execution, especially by avoiding the assistant help tightening the first knot. Once the wire, Ethibond 3.0, is anchored to the periosteum or is passed through the V-drilled residual bone, instead of proceeding and knotting the wire, the surgeon will execute a sort of snaky stitch by passing the needle and wire multiple times around the head of the dormant. The number of turns should vary depending on the gap between septum quadrangular cartilage and anchoring zone, bone or ANS periosteum. For example, if the gap between the two different issues is 5 to 7 millimeters, it should be created a coil of at least 7 turns. As you can see, Stabilization is optimal, preventing any risk of cartilaginous breakdown. <laughs>